Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video today, I'm actually asking for your help, basically, to help me find a new fragrance. As you guys know, and if you've checked out my other fragrance videos, check them out in the description box. Make sure to also like and subscribe to my channel. But anyways, if you've checked out my other fragrance videos, you know that I love colognes. I have a whole cologne collection, but I'm trying to add some more scents to it. And one word of advice I have for anyone that's trying to buy a new cologne is to go to the department store or go to whatever store that sells it either online or in store and ask for samples. Take a sample home, wear it for a week or two. It has been so many times where I've just smelled the bottle, tried it on my skin, at the store and I'm like, I want this fragrance, I take it home and within two days later, I'm like, what am I thinking? And one of those examples is, let me show you. Let me show you one of those examples which I have never used this fragrance. Other than like an air freshener whenever like the air in my car or rooms or our house smells bad and it's this, it's Carvin for men, Lo, Lu Intense. And I thought I loved this fragrance, and this is not a cheap fragrance. I got the small version of it too, which is another sign that I didn't love it, love it. But this is not a cheap fragrance, and I've barely used any of it other than an air freshener, because when I smell it right now, it smells like rice. It smells like rice water. It smells like sake. That's what it exactly smells like. And I don't want to smell like sake. I love, I love drinking sake with beer and sushi but I don't want to smell like it. So this is my fault that I didn't get a sample. So for this video, what I did was I got samples of my favorite fragrances. I'm going to try them on for a week. I'm going to talk about what they are. And also for anyone that's curious or into fragrances, go to your department store or wherever and try these out for yourself if you have them in your store. So the first fragrance that I got a sample from is something that I smelled in Saks Fifth Avenue and it's from the brand Killian. And it's called, well, this is Killian Perfumes of Art, that's their branding, but this is um, the smell, and I just love the packaging. This is a sample, by the way, guys, like, they take a lot of time. Killian fragrances are a little bit expensive, though, I'm not gonna lie. And I've heard that they don't last, so let me know what your opinions are about them, but this is their Straight to Heaven from Killian, and they always have, like, n interesting names like this. It's, like, Straight to Heaven, or Candle, or I don't even know, some weird names. But I really like this when I smelled this in the store, so I got a sample of it. And some sales associates are like, no, we don't have samples. And some of them are really nice and give you a bunch. But this just smells so amazing. And I still really like it. It has this kind of like spicy, peppery scent to it. But there's a sweet undertone of kind of like vanilla. And it's starting to warm up as it's going on my skin. It'll probably take another minute or two. So I'm just going to let this stay, stay here. But this is really nice. It's a really versatile fragrance. I could wear this during the day because it's not so spicy and so woodsy and oozy. And it's also not completely for the night either. It's just really great to mend both times of day, basically. And it also really smells like after, like, you know the foaming shaving creams? I obviously don't shave right now, but the shaving foaming creams, like the classic ones that, I don't know, my grandfather used to wear. So it kind of has a nostalgic smell to it, but I really kind of like the different notes that are in here. So the next thing that I did was I was searching through Instagram actually, while well, I was just scrolling through Instagram and this company popped up called Fleur. Here it is. And I reached out to them. I'm like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I do cologne reviews. Wouldn't it be great if I reviewed some of your scents? And they were like, sure, we would love to. So the name of the company is called Fleur. I hope I'm saying it right. But Fleur reminds me of Fleur like flower in French. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I'm just really impressed with the packaging. This is a sample pack and um, I just love the attention to detail they went in here. It says um, prepared for, it has my name in here. You open it up and it has uh, a lot of different, so you open it up and I just love companies like this. You know you're getting a great product when the company takes attention to detail to do this for and then they gave me three samples right here. So the samples are right here. And then it says here, before you indulge, background information for all three scents. So let me go through them for you guys. Here's one of them. It's called Hanami. And this is what the bottles look like, which is just really nice. All the bottles look the same, kind of modern, minimalistic. It has the notes on here. 
as well and it tells you how long it's supposed to last how many times you're supposed to spray it and I'm gonna spray it on my skin because obviously you want to spray it on your skin to see now this one tells me I have to spray it uh, five minutes in five minutes so it takes two hours for this smell to really kind of like build itself so I'm just gonna put one spray on my arm here on my hand here and smell it on the first place Wow the smells of this, this, the fragrances of this company, you guys, are so unique. I've never smelled anything like this. It's like the moment I smell it, there's so many complex notes in there. This is really fresh, really powdery, kind of sweet. But it says within two hours, it's supposed to kind of mix in with the oils on your skin, the heat of your skin, and kind of warm up and become a little bit more darker smelling. And... It's supposed to be kind of like a tranquil, everyday, kind of like floral scent. And these smells are kind of unisex. This brand kind of reminds me of Joe Malone because um, you, anyone can wear them, really. There's more like girly scents, I guess, if you want to call it girly, but more sweet-smelling sweet, sweet -smelling scents and more kind of traditional manly scents. But this is right in between of it, and I really love Hanami. Okay, so the next one that I wanted to try, and you guys can see, like, with the picture, it kind of gives the vibe of what the smell is. Like, I definitely smell whatever it is. Kind of like this modern, tranquil, zen kind of environment. The next one is called Hepcat, and you can see already there's going to be some wood smell in there, some bark, some dark, probably, like, spicy smells, aged leather, and, um, let's see here. Okay, so this is a more darker scent. It's called Hepcat. Let's smell it. I'll put it on, I'm running out of places to smell this, but I guess on my hand right here. Wow, this is the definition of leather, oud, it kind of reminds me of, it's just so, the, the fragrances in this are so dimensional, and that's what it says, it's multi-dimensional, you smell it once, it smells some way, you smell it again, there's another scent in there. Like three times I smelled my arm right, my hand right now and I smell different things. I smell brick and stone and wood and leather. And then the last scent that they sent me over was Olmsted and Vox or Vo. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But they call this a embodiment of quiet confidence and composure. Let's smell this on this part of my hand. Wow, and this is really fresh. This is your daytime scent. Like Olmsted and Vox is definitely if I want something daytime and I actually do need something more daytime as opposed to nighttime. And citrus, ginger, really fresh. And again, it's not going to have those traditional smells that all the other fragrances have. These are unique scents and I love it. Okay, so those are the fragrances from Fleur. And um, definitely go to their website. You can try these out. They have a sample pack that you can order. So the link is down below. Check them out and try it for yourself and then once you try them out you can order yourself some too they have much more uh choices than these these are the ones that i picked out based off the scent profiles that i needed now the other uh fragrances that i wanted to talk about and see if i wanted to buy i also got samples of this one i got from sax or no from barney's but i think sax and also neiman marcus carries it it's the brand bruno janvonic Bruno Genvonic, and this is the smell of Monsieur, and I really am impressed with the size of the sample. Like, I've used half of it already, and it still lasted. This is a heavy, 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 intense, spicy, oozy smell, and this is just, this is strong. It kind of smells like olives, too, which is strange. Like, right now that I'm smelling it, there's an olive scent. Like, you know, black olives, you open a can of olives, and then... You smell it, it's kind of like salty and briny. I'm not too sure about this one. The only thing that's really captivating me is that oud smell in there, that dark, dark, musky smell. This is definitely a nighttime scent. You cannot wear this during the day because people are going to get headaches. If you go to school, if you go to work, it's really obnoxious. It is a loud, loud scent. But definitely check out Bruno Jovanovic um, <clears throat> fragrances because I never even heard about the brand until I went in there and they are a little bit pricey but it's definitely worth it. Okay the brand Givenchy has a new line of kind of like luxury higher end fragrances it's called Atelier which I think means sewer or clothing maker 
And I went to the Givenchy counter and the sales associate was really nice to provide me with two of the samples, larger size samples. This is scent one and this is scent five. So the bottles and the whole packaging of this brand is kind of like a seamstress or someone that sews. There's like little spools and wooden needles and all these things, so really cool. And I got the scent number five, which comes in kind of like a purple liquid. And this one, I kind of regret, like when I was getting ready to make this video, I smelled these again. I was like, why did I get this one? This one smells like Robitussin. Like you pick up a bottle of Robitussin or NyQuil and you put it in here. So let me put it on my arm a little bit, maybe on my skin. It'll kind of like dry down to something better. When I sprayed it, it smelled much better. But yeah, I don't like this at all. But go and check it out. Go and check these out. They're, they're, the scents are really unique, but I don't like scent number five. This is scent number one. And this is much nicer. This is so nice. This is like smoky. It comes in kind of like this uh, yellowish liquid right here. This, this kind of, this has a oozy, smoky smell to it as well. And you guys are probably seeing a trend right now that I really like oozy, smoky smell. So um, go check this out and let, let me know. I'm still not sure if I want these. These are my least two favorites out of everything that I've showed so far. Okay, so the last scent that I was actually pleasantly surprised that I liked was a fragrance from Burberry. And it's one of their newer fragrances. It's called My Burberry. This is the intense version. There's a regular version. They came out with the intense version. And the bottle is kind of cool because it comes with a bow. The big version of it too comes with a bow. And I usually don't like Burberry fragrances in general. I just never have connected with them. The smells, sometimes I hate Burberry fragrances to be honest. Like Burberry Brit is one of my most hated fragrances. No offense if anyone wears it. Personal preference, I just don't like how it smells. But this is one of their first fragrances that is just simple and everyone will really like how this smells. There's nothing too complex. This would be the cheapest one out of all of these. But it's really fresh, but also really great for the nighttime. There's a little bit of vanilla in there, a little bit of incense, tonka. It smells like you just got out of the shower, but you also got out of the shower and sprayed like spices all over you. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a fresh scent, but also spicy. So again, another great option for both the day and nighttime smell, My Burberry. If you don't want the intense version, the intense version kind of gears you more towards nighttime. So I hope you guys liked this video. This wasn't anything, a video too crazy. It was just me sharing with you some of the new fragrances that I've been enjoying and wanting to purchase. Potentially one or two of these. Let me know if you've smelled these before. If you go and smell these out, comment back on this video if you smelled any one or all of these. And that'll help me in my decision making. So until next time, peace.